Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our first personal break of the night to have won Strixhaven School of Mages pre-release kit, Quandrix Edition, for Brian F. from California. So thank you so much, Brian, for letting me open up some more magic for you here on the channel. Hope to find you some awesome Strixhaven additions to your collection. Now these kits being college color themed here from Strixhaven School of Mages, each one does have a different college, it does have a themed color pack inside, and then five additional draft booster packs for all of your sealed packs. So instead of a regular previous kit having six packs, it does have the one color theme packs and then five draft boosters. Of course, you also do have your stamped promo card and that code for Magic the Gathering Arena where you do get six packs in the online game. But I'm ready to go ahead and check this one on out. We've had some pretty good luck here with pre-release kits. I've actually found more demonic tutors out of kits than we have out of set boosters, draft boosters, and collected boosters. So let's go ahead and see what we'll find here for Brian. Bye! That put us into the corner and let's get started. So, Brian, go ahead and let me know what your favorite color scheme has been here from the set. Because, of course, it is the two colors, just like the different guilds in Ravnica, but they have different twists on them here to make them, you know, different than just a repeat of the different guilds. So, I still haven't had a chance to check out Arena, play any games for myself. I've been super, super busy these past several weeks, ever since release. So I haven't a chance to play it myself, but I know they are different. We do have the spin down here with the Quandrix colors and school logo. And then for our promo, we do have one of the new dual lands. We have Fury Column Snarl with the 2021 and the Shooting Star. They did seem to get rid of the date stamps on the promos, now replaced by this. I do think it's pretty cute, but I do I do have to admit I miss seeing the date. Because I feel like especially going to a pre-release is like a big deal. You know, you get to meet friends, hang out, play games. So it's nice to have like a physical reminder of when that was. Of course, there's not actually events. I think with Strixhaven, you weren't allowed to run events. I think actually starting at the end of May, you can start having sanctioned events again. So wonder if that'll be like a one-time only thing or if that's the new actual promo here for uh, pre-release kits. So we do have the little paper here as well. I haven't shown these off in a while, but this is a pretty quick opening, so I'll show it off. Showing off what the Quandrix College looks like, College of Numeromancy. And each different kit, of course, has a different picture. They they make like a circle. There's a missing square in the middle. It's a little bit odd, but they do look pretty cool. And then you have the divider here with the Quandrix logo and colors. Let me go ahead and close this on up here. We don't need to look at the box contents anymore. Let's start off with our theme pack and see what we'll find here for Brian. All right, here you go, pack number one, the theme kit. Well, theme pack, rather. Going through all of our commons, uncommons. We have Tempted by the Eureek for our rare, and our little pile of tokens. All right, so let me move the packs off to the side. We have our rare pile, token pile, any mystical archives can go down here, foils and mythics. Here we go, draft booster pack number one. We have Velamatch's Lorehold Mythic here in pack number one. Do have the Lorehold Mythic Elder Dragon Velamatch's. Very cool name. I really like the name on these new dragons. Also, Claim the Firstborn is our first mystical archive. We have a rare lesson card, Illuminate History. We have Sparring Regimen for our regular rare and Gift of Estates rare Mystical Archive. Three rare pack here. This draft booster pack is actually a set booster in disguise. Three rares, one pack. We have Draconic Intervention and Eliminate. Already on to our second to final pack of the kit. Double Major, Defiant Strike, and we do have a foil, our first foil of the kit, Needlethorn Drake. He's cute but pointy. Would not recommend giving that little dragon a hug. Mm -mm. That looks like it hurt. But final pack here for Brian. Oh, 
we do have a borderless Mila crafty companion and Luca wayward bonder so that's cool another mythic here and it is borderless I feel like the pull rates on borderless cards in the set in general seem to be pretty low village rights for our mystical archive and that'll do it here for this box so one foil two mythics in just six packs here i think those were pretty nice let's go ahead and do a recap here for brian just in case you blinked and missed anything we did end up with five rares because we did find one rare lesson to give us a bonus tempted by the orique illuminate history sparring regimen draconic intervention and double major also had one rare mystical archive gift of estates let's show off our others just one foil in this kit. We did find Needlethorn Drake. One regular mythic in Velomachus Lorehold. That one has to be my favorite name. All the names are really cool on these new Elder Dragons, but Velomachus Lorehold just has a very, I feel, hoity toity name to it. I don't know. Every time I say it, I feel fancy. So that, that's why Velomachus is my favorite. But then also we have the cute fox Mila, crafty companion and Luca Planeswalker on the back. So that's cool. Borderless pull here for Brian. Of course, can't forget to take a second glance at our pre-release promo. Did have the stamped Fury Calm Snarl. And that does it for this kit here for Brian. So thank you so much, Brian, for letting me open up some more Magic Gathering for you here in the channel. Brian also has a pre-release kit scheduled in this upcoming weekend's live breaks, which, if you guys are not aware, the one that is originally scheduled for 5-8 tomorrow night is actually on Sunday 5-9, which actually happens to be our one-year anniversary of when I started streaming. So I do have a commitment on Saturday. It, it wasn't on purpose, but definitely a happy coincidence. So this weekend's stream will be live on Sunday night. So make sure to tune in then if you can. But that does it here for Brian. So thank you so much, Brian, again. For let me open up some more magic for you. And I really hope you loved all of these new additions to your collection. All of you out there watching, of course, I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. Comment to me. Leave those down below. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here and into our final personal break of the night, because I do have one more video to get on into of some Cardfight Vanguard, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. To those six Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have 10 Gem Mint fans. Alberto M., Anthony Basileo, Chris Rivers, D. Vaughn, Dusty Archuleta, Jerry Hatchet Geek, Jake Ryan O.C., Joe Howe, Michael C., and Scorecard Collectibles. But thank you so much again to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every single video. But this actually does it for me here tonight on Magic. Just this one quick pre-release kit opening. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all are staying safe. And I hope I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!